All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, once again, we are still doing practice runs for the SRX Speedrunners Expo happening this weekend over at stream.me uh, slash speedrunners expo or speedrunning expo. Um, I'll have a link to it in the description of this video and the previous one. Anyway, um, so we're so as I mentioned previously, uh, myself, Lenefis, and Sacred Hooves will be playing a team villain exhibition match um, featuring. The villain team chosen by your donations, uh, with the guest hero chosen by your donations, at the environment chosen by your donations, on the difficulty chosen by your donations. Um, we'll just leave that part off. Anyway, uh, so what I've been doing is basically just doing a random 4v4. Oh, look, even better. Perfect. It actually worked for once. Um... So with that being said, since we have our four villains and our four heroes and our random environment, let's just do it. And this is help. This will help me to strategize against different hero or against different villains with the different heroes that we may be working with. Um, it's also making me you uh, play against heroes and villains that I don't normally use. Uh, however, we have team leader Tachyon and the Naturalist and Skyscraper, so we have two tanks, actually three tanks, and enough cards to draw our entire decks. So. I don't anticipate this one being very terrible. However, we do have Le Capitan and Misinformation, who are notorious for screwing up the game as much as possible. So we'll see what happens. Alright, so a world improved is, of course, Misinformation's first ongoing. So we're just going to skip, skip. to get rid of a world improved. All right, um, so everybody's taking damage from Deja Vu. And then we are shuffling. Our, um, the cards we shuffle to the bottom don't matter quite so much because we don't have Rogue Agent Knife or Prime Warden's Argent Adept in the party. So, but we have so many cards, so many, many cards. Uh, let's go lightning reflexes and a quick insight. Ooh, hypersonic. That's a happy card. Um, ooh, let's get rid of you. Chiquito. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that stupid monkey. All right, so Chiquito. Wait, what? Bastion's in play. Are you kidding me? Well, I really should have paid attention. That was, without a doubt, the worst possible sequence of plays that I could have done. All right. Uh, what is you? What do you do again? Real card is one shot discarded. Otherwise, put it in a play, and the hero deals himself three psychic. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, so, let's play in, oh wait, I already have an environmental allies in play. What am I playing a second one? Um, I know what I'm doing, really, I do. Let's blend into the pack, and then switch to gazelle, and draw. All right, there goes a Bastion, so that's good. I kind of wish that it was already gone, but it's fine. Ha <laughs> ha! Backfired! All right, let's get Savage Mana out there. Um, oh, putting Chiquito under Savage Mana? I like that. Especially considering it's lowest health, so... <laughs> 
under Savage Mana you go. No more of those stealing discard. Um, well, that... That's a that's a lot of left hooks. Um, thank you for that aggression modulator. Actually, that's really useful. Um, so let's get proportionist out there and draw some more cards. Because we're about to do a large amount of damage with skyscraper on her next turn. Oh, what does this do? The end of this information is each player destroys one of their equipment cards. If no equipments are destroyed this way, destroy this card. Then each player may move one card from their trash into their hand. There's one equipment in play. So it's not going to get rid of... Oh, wait, there's two equipments in play. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Put that to hand. Um... Actually, we're going to put Fleet of Foot to hand. And sure, we'll take the Elbow Smash back. Alright, so let's Fleet of Foot, draw a bunch of cards. And then play Interruption and draw some more cards. Let's do here with the highest three melee, here with the lowest two energy. All right, so here with the highest will be Haka, sure. And then Skyscraper has to discard one of her millions of cards. So let's just discard Relinking. Haha, you can't get your little monkey thing back. Oh, sweet. All right, so we are currently Rhino Gazelle. So, um, let's go full Turducken. Base power for Crocodile. Uh, let me see here. Do I have another power to play? I don't have another power to play. So it's a bit of a waste, but that's okay. Um... So let's play Predator's Eye, target Anvil. Actually, wait a minute. What does uh, Cover Fire do again? First time Anvil is dealt damage each turn, Hammer deals source that damage to fire. So he counterattacks on hitting Anvil. Uh, do I want to... So let's get rid of the Hammer and Shield then. No, not drawing cards. And draw two more cards. Ooh, Natural Born Vigor. I like that. And there's their Holy Nova. Haha, -ha, Hotspot did nothing. And we'll play Tayaha. Tayaha will eat Hammer and Shield. Yes, I would like to put it under Savage Mana. Um, Lois is currently Angry Mob, so yeah, we have to hit it. Because it's otherwise only going to be two damage. Alright. Everybody's taking some damage. Except for Naturalist. All 
All right, now it is time for some... Now it's time to deal some damage. You prevent damage to hammer. Okay. Uh, we're going to left hook. And we're going to punch Anvil. And then we're going to get rid of this debilitator to left hook Anvil again. And we're going to get rid of this Rest and Recover to left hook Anvil again. And then we're going to get rid of Debilitator to... Okay, now, so now the question is, do I want a Choke Slam or do I want a Monolith? I think I want a Monolith, actually. And that puts Anvil at a nice low life total for me to finish off. Oh, right. Uh, all right, we'll take the left hook back. Take Fleet of Foot back. Actually, I'm okay with this staying in play. Because it's letting me bring back all of my dumb broken stuff. Play Pushing the Limits, play Fleet of Foot. And then... Uh, there's only three bursts in the trash. So we'll just accelerate Assault. Oh! Wow! Um, okay, so damage actually has to be dealt to get rid of Heroes Unallied. That's really awkward, actually. Um, hmm. All right, well, get rid of one of these natural born vigors. Oh, my indomitable force. Um, all right, so let's switch to Gazelle, and then I'm just going to play Resilient Hide and draw more cards. Eventually, if I draw a million cards, I will do all sorts of horrid things during Naturalist's turn. So, no, I'm not discarding it because it'll just get destroyed. Heroes unallied, the Rathian monolith, and that still doesn't, because of Punish the Weak. I can't break Punish the Weak. <laughs> oh, this is, this is actually really funny. I can't break Heroes and Ally because I can't deal enough damage to get past all the mitigation. All right, let's give that micro assembler to skyscraper actually. There we go. Okay. All right. We finally beat it. 
All right, so what is this? Altered Fates. First time a hero card enters play this turn, Miss Hero Misinformation deals a hero with the highest to Psychic. If damage... Okay, that's fine. Don't care about that. Um, so I could Choke Slam. That would get rid of Anvil. I mean, Monolith would also get rid of Anvil. Uh... Left hook would get rid of Anvil. Um, well, I could left hook, hammer, uh, the cover fire position. It's going to make him a real pain in the neck to get rid of. Alright, let's actually linking incursion. Alright, put that into play on Hammer. Oh, right, he's immune to damage from Anvil. I can't make them fight each other. Alright, so... That's fine. Um, put this on Anvil. And then... Base power, play you on Anvil. And operative. Then modulate on Bathory. Do I even have any in the trash right now? Yes, I do. Alright, well actually let's just get back canister and play. Cancer is one of Skyscraper's best cards anyway. I just have to hope that Bastion doesn't show up. Alright, um... Put Twisted Reality back into play. And then for the... I already have a Vigor in play. Yes, I do. Um... We have a Savage Mana... Put Therathian Monolith... Yeah, let's put Therathian Monolith out. And then... That will actually clear Anvil. At least until Bastion shows up. Uh, doesn't matter the order. Though actually, without being able to use powers, that's actually really going to hurt... Take Compulsion Canister back. Take Fleet of Foot back. Well, no, that's fine, because I can uh, destroy Twisted Reality on on uh, on Tachyon's turn. Okay, so we're, we're good. We're good. Take Tayaha back. And it's going to get redirected to Therathian Monolith, so there's no point. No. Because there's no Heroes Unallied in play. If Heroes Unallied were in play... Oh no, it would still get prevented because of... Yeah. Alright, so let's... Uh, we'll go Fleet of Foot. Fleet of Foot. Alright, no HUD goggles, so it's blinding speed away. Twisted Reality. And then draw more cards. Uh, shuffle each hero trash into the deck, real top card. Okay, it doesn't matter. Well, it kind of sucks for Tachyon because that resets her, her trash, but I think it's okay. Get rid of Blend into the pack. 
So now... Uh, you are at 21 of 27. I do not wish to regain 4 health. Alright, so let's see here. Okay, we are in Gazelle Rhino at the moment. Now, I don't think I want to cash this in just yet. So Desperate Prey, stay in Gazelle, play the second Cornered Beast, because there are currently five non-hero targets and four hero targets, so Cornered Beast is active. So when I switch into uh, Crocodile form, that is going to cause Naturalist to get plus two. Oh, and then I will play Crocodile as the next turn's card play. this two villain target with the lowest hp regains two so that would heal that's kind of annoying um who's the lowest hammer is the lowest neat um could rampage but i don't have base power to deal damage okay so instead we'll just replay the tayaha Whack Hammer, which will actually break through Cover Fire. And then the other doesn't matter, so we'll just crack misinformation upside the head, because I really need to get rid of her ongoings. Well, there's the Unhallowed Halls. That actually, that's actually good. Um, it, well, it's both good and bad, because it prevents me from healing my guys, but it also prevents uh, Hammer and Anvil from healing. Okay, so now let's see here. Alright, I think the play is just Hammer and Info, and then Clap. Oh, right. Nemesis bonus. Ha ha! Um... Let's discard a card, because I've got a million of them. Get rid of Rest and Recover. Alright. Um, let's get rid of a Sucker Punch. Discard a card, because again, we have a million of them. And discard a card. These guys have so many cards in their hands. Alright, let's destroy this compulsion canister, because we'll just get it right back. Yes! I finally get to keep pushing the limits in play! It's amazing! Alright, um, so now we have things to do. Uh, we can... Oh, cover fire is such a pain in the neck. 
list. How many? Two burst cards in the trash. All right. So let's start by blinding speeding away uh, in internal collapse. Then I will nimble strike misinformation in the face. Should have done the nimble strike first, but oh well. Destroy one villain ongoing card and play the top card of that deck. Oh. Thank you for the host, MST. <laughs> Hello, Rune. Welcome to the stream. All right, let's get rid of Altered... F Actually, no, let's get... Yeah, Altered Fates, because that, that card's annoying. Even though it's not doing anything. Okay. And all that setup I did with Naturalist... Gone. Uh. Um, I've actually already done my unlocks. I got uh, Extreme Prime Wardens Fanatic and Extreme Prime Wardens Tempest earlier tonight. So right now we're just I'm just doing uh, a couple practice villains runs uh, for this weekend for the Speedrunners Expo. All right, let's get rid of Blend into the pack. Okay, I get to hit three people for two damage, which is cool. And you. And I get to destroy two ongoings. Oh, look. Let's get rid of you and you. Um, and then we'll get rid of Unhallowed Halls. Which will then play Dojer Alona. Which is fine, because the vampires can't hit heroes right now. Um, let's get rid of this extra punish of the week. No, I will not regain. Alright, there are six non-heroes and four heroes. We are in... Uh, I don't have a... Bestial Shift, but I do have a Primal Charge. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. So let's go ahead and switch to Crocodile. Play Primal Charge in full Turducken, which means I get to draw four cards. I get to deal two damage. Um, actually, it's going to be four damage, so let's go ahead and uh, hit Hammer for three, and then hit him for another four. And because of Natural Form's Vigor, I get to use a second power. So let's give... Uh, let's give the Naturalist cards, try and rebuild his hand. <laughs> well, I call it the Turducken form because it, it's basically all three of his animal forms out at once. And... Down go the citizens. Don't have to worry about them anymore. And then let's also get rid of misinformation. So we don't have to worry about her shenanigans anymore. So all that leaves now is the operative and la capitan. But we're no longer immune to environment targets, which might be a little tricky. Though Bathory has two aggression modulators on her, so she's dealing... Minus four damage to hero targets when she only deals packets of two. So I don't think we have to worry too too much about that. Um, all right, let's rampage. So, oh, Lona is the lowest. All right, that's fine. So order doesn't matter. Order doesn't matter here. And then we're going to Rampage again. So let's hit Alona first. Yes, she would like to go under Savage Mana. Um, then Le Capitan for six. And then the order doesn't matter for the rest. Order doesn't matter here.
Wait, I thought there was only one unhallowed halls in the... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, oh, there's two unhallowed halls in the Court of Blood. Lovely! Alright, well, it doesn't matter because the operative's at three health. Um, it is pretty much guaranteed that she is not going to be able to... Alright, uh, let's see here. How do we want to finish this? So many methods. I'm just going to tectonically choke slam her. Alright. That was a little dicey, but other than that, <laughs> we got there. Naturalist being at near full health and everybody else in near critical. Alright, um, unfortunately, I am a little bit beat, so I am going to call it for tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to tune in this weekend for our run at, during the Speedrunners Expo um, at it's at about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Actually, you should tune in right now. Well, yeah, tune in right now because they should have just finished up the Persona 4 run and started the actual event proper. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Have a great night, and I will see you guys next time.